Welcome. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations for wanting to learn more about women in machining. Normally, when people hear the word machining, they think of big, muscly men with heavy tools and I heart mommy tattoos, which is not necessarily true. Women are perfectly capable of being machinists too. Over the years, more and more women have been joining the manufacturing group, exhibiting the same capabilities a man has. In industry, women are no longer subjected to jobs that were deemed female only, so you don't need big muscles or manly facial hair to work in a manufacturing field. Let's hear from our women what they think it takes to be a handy, admirable machinist, or ham. To be a ham, you have to be analytical, creative, proactive. You need to have very good attention to details, dedication to quality. The five P's, persistency, precision, patience, passion, and perseverance. You have to have precision, dynamic. Being able to have patience to keep trying when things don't go right. I want to become an aeronautical engineer. My career of interest is in a field in engineering, um, hopefully computer engineering, the hardware. I'm looking into going into a STEM research field, preferably working with math and numbers and science. I joined machining because I wanted the hands-on experience. I knew I needed a hands-on um, environment for my degree. I took a tour of the shop and I saw how hands-on everything was. The independence to work on my own, on my own projects without having to constantly um, be in the classroom and just doing the same thing over and over again. I decided to come in here so I do know how to make stuff before I decided to program stuff. And the whole process of making things really interested in me. As you can see, machining is focused more around thinking and hands-on skills and not really all about muscle and sweat. <laughs>